If you've been following my channel, you know that I work in the ER almost 24 years now, and I do and have done a ton of suturing. Almost daily at work I do this. And aside from that, I have a lot of wound care and suturing videos here on my channel, and I've taught classes for NPPA and medical students for suturing. When I learned in school, we learned on pig's feet. They would get these feet, we'd have two of us to a pig's foot, you would make incisions on the foot, and then you would sew them up, and it was adequate for what it was, not great. Human skin was definitely easier. But now in modern times, there are these suture pads that are out there that are as close to human skin as you can get. Human skin is actually going to be easier. But these are great for multiple situations. If you're in school, NPPA, medical school, or even there are other situations where maybe you work in some austere medical environments and you are away from hospital type medical care and you need to potentially do some suturing on your own. It'd be good if you had some anesthetic, but that's a whole different video. But these can be practical for using and learning in many different situations. And when students come now to the classes, they bring a version of one of these kits to learn on. So let's go through it. Cyan, the company here that sells several of these kits on Amazon, wrote to me and said, would you like to check some of our kits out? I said, I'd love to. Send me some. And so they sent me two of their kits. The bigger kit here is this one comes in this box. This is $27. I'll put some links down below. You can check that out. And it comes with everything you see here. It comes with a curved pad. This one you make your own cuts on, whatever shapes you want. There are some suction cup feet on the bottom, so they'll keep it stable. Comes with this pad with the pre-made cuts, 14 different pre-made cuts, and there are lots of versions of this exact same cut pad that are out there. The skin on this skin is, it's definitely better than pig's feet, and if you can get used to suturing on these, human skin is going to be easier because the human skin, it's just going to come together better. But again, mastering the techniques on these is a great place to start and you can reuse these several times, lots of times. You put the stitches in, and then you cut them out, and you can just keep repracticing different types of techniques on different types of wounds. Comes with a little kit of instruments, and in here, there's a scalpel and comes with three blades. I've already installed one of the blades. Needle driver, AdSense pickups, iris scissors, and some curved hemostats. 24 different packets of suture of varying sizes and materials, and a bag to carry it all in. There's also the smaller kit if you already have instruments. This one just comes with two pads for $10.91. I'll put the link down below to this one. And this comes with the same 14 pre-cut wound pad and also a flat uncut pad. And this one has a wire mesh in it, so while it comes flat, you could bend it to different situations if you wanted to practice things like that because indeed people cut themselves on the most inconvenient places to suture, and so you can make the wounds in this one, and then reuse them the same. Link to both of those down below. That's what comes in the kits. Let's do a little bit of suturing and show you the kits in action. Looking a little bit closer now at this pad, you can see lots of different shapes, and there's opportunities to do lots of different types of sutures on here. You can do interrupteds or runnings. You can do corner sutures here or here. You can do V to Ys, long runnings here. You can do some deep sutures. This wide one is not going to come back together as well, again, because the sub-Q tissue is not like it would be on a real person. You can do some sub-Q stitches, but I recommend the smaller one. And it's not super deep, but it's deep enough that you could still practice them and get that done. Looking at the instruments that come with it, the needle driver, not bad for the price. My only issue with the needle driver is that it has some teeth and ridges in here inside. And I prefer it to be flat because what can happen with something like this is that the needle can get put in it kind of crooked, but fine for the purpose overall. The iris scissors, fine, no issues there. They're gonna cut your sutures fine. The curved hemostats, no issues there. The pickups, my issue with these is that the teeth are big. I've used some real suture kits with pickups like this, and it is really hard to grip the tissue and the suture, so I prefer them to have much finer teeth but again, in a pad of this price, this is what you're gonna get in cheaper real life suture pads. The scalpel, totally fine for this. The blade, you change it. I recommend if you're going to do that to use something like these to take it on and off. That way you're not handling the knife with your hands. I'll do a couple of quick sutures on this. I have videos to all the ones I'm gonna do here, so I'm not going to talk about techniques on here. This is just to demonstrate the pad. I'm going to use one of the Foro Proline you wanna grip it about a third of the way down the needle and as perpendicular as you can straight across. Do a couple interrupteds on this one. And 
now do a running suture on this one right here. So there's a couple sutures and if you wanted to try them again, you would just simply snip them. Pull them out. And you're good to start over and practice again. There you go, the Scion Wound Care Practice Pads. These are a great option for many different situations where you want to learn and practice suturing. Even my local college, their undergrad pre-PA club, they do some practice suturing and they use pads like this. So even if you're not actually in MD, PA, or NP school right now, these are still great for many other situations. I'll put some links down below. You can check them out. As long as you're here, I appreciate you sticking around. I'd love for you to watch some of my other wound care videos here. I have videos on lots of different types of suturing techniques and tips on multiple common mistakes that people make when they're doing wounds. So I would love to have you watch those and I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you next time.